Good evening, everybody. Thank you for joining us this evening. Um, if you could just start by sort of giving us a thumbs up or a heart or something, just so I know that you can hear us, that would be really good. I know there's a little bit of a delay, time delay, so I'll just wait for a second until we uh, see something arriving. Okay. Yeah, anything would be good. A little thumbs up or a heart. Thank you, that's great. Thank you so much. So, good evening. Uh, thank you for joining us this evening um, for uh, this uh, video about introducing what doTERRA oils can do for our emotions. And it's an interesting thing, you know, because we carried out a survey not so long ago where we asked people what kind of health issues they'd like us to talk about in terms of what oils could be used for what. And emotional issues came really very close to the top of the list. And I have to say, I'm not entirely surprised because... Um, you know, I think there's a bit of a modern day issue going on here where there seem to be more and more people who are suffering from extreme emotional issues and even chronic emotional uh, issues as well. And there seems to be an awful lot of stress and anxiety and even fear um, seem to be prevalent at the moment. So um, I thought I'd start by saying, well, or talking about what emotions are. And I have to be honest, I'm not entirely sure, but I don't think anybody else is either. Um, sort of the experts sort of describe it as being sort of um, complex multifactorial responses to stimuli, which all sounds very grand, but I guess it really is. Um, and the way that emotions can actually come out is in the, or be personified in a number of different ways. It can be in terms of our behavior, our emotions, uh, sorry, our motivations, or even our psychology. All these things can be affected by uh, emotions. Um, and the thing is that everybody reacts to emotions in a different way uh, or stimuli in a different way and their emotions come out in different ways. So uh, you can't actually predict how people are going to react or what their emotions are going to show like. So it is a very, very complex area. But what I would say, the one thing we do know is that emotions are one of two things. They are either positive or they are negative. Uh, that is for sure. And that can really affect us in the way that we live our lives and how, and how healthy we are. So it's really important that we maintain real positive emotions and try and get rid of any negative emotions. And there are a number of ways that we can do that. We can do that. Actually, one of the best ways is through just physical activity. <clears throat> if we carry out physical uh, exercise regularly, then it's amazing how it can boost our emotional state, make us feel more positive and, and sweep away the cobwebs and get rid of uh, um, uh, sort of negative things. Also, having hobbies, having hobbies that we really enjoy and we do regularly can really help with emotions and keeping them positive. Just talking about emotions openly with sort of good friends and things could, could be a really good thing. And a couple of other things as well. Uh, meditation. Now, meditation is uh, an amazing thing if you carry it out regularly. It's fantastic for sort of getting, into, getting your mind into a state where you take time out, you sort of get things into perspective, you think about positive things, you get rid of negative things. So it's a really powerful thing. But actually, um, essential oils are brilliant at helping us with our emotions, uh, either uh, controlling negative emotions, getting rid of them, or promoting positive emotions too. And it's really important that we keep those negative emotions to an absolute minimum, try and wipe them out of our lives, because they have far-reaching effects. And in fact, it's now been scientifically proven, modern science has proven that negative emotions can make us ill. Um, because a bit of science behind this is that our emotions trigger um, neurotransmitters in our brains, and those neurotransmitters have fundamental effects on things like our hormones, uh, our immune system and some of our organs as well. So there's a direct link between emotions and our physical well-being as uh, being too. Um, and the reality is that negative emotions promote poor health and positive emotions promote uh, good health. So they are intrinsically linked. But one thing I have to be uh, uh, honest about it, is there is no, nowhere that says what emotions can trigger what particular illness. There is no rule, there's nothing that has been documented in any way that says, well, this particular emotion can lead to this particular illness. Um, so that's not easy to follow. Uh, and it's not actually clear also over what timescales emotions can affect us in a physical way. In fact, 
um, sometimes emotions that we suffer from can not really be come out in, in a physical way for months, maybe even years. And things, uh, unfortunately, things like cancer can be triggered by emotions, but they could, it could be some time on. They could be lying dormant for a long, long time in your body, and then suddenly your emotions start the rolling process of triggering something uh, like, like that. On the other hand, other illnesses such as, oh, I don't know, um, shingles and cold sores, they are um, almost immediate reactions to, to emotions as well. So negative Emotions are really damaging for us, um, and we just have to make sure that we keep our emotions as positive as possible. And like I say, essential oils are fantastic at doing that. So what we're going to be talking about is a couple of different ways you can use essential oils, and then some doTERRA oils that can really help uh, to resolve emotional issues and keep us uh, keep us in that positive mindset. So if you're going to use um, uh, essential oils for emotional well-being. There's two great ways of doing it. <clears throat> One is um, aromatically and the second is through um, topical use. Now aromatic use is brilliant because it's, um, it uses our sense of smell and our sense of smell is incredibly powerful. Uh, in fact <laughs> when I was digging around I was getting a few facts out and you know our sense of smell is 10,000 times more sensitive than any other sense that we have in our body. 10,000 times. So you imagine that's touch and everything else, 10,000 times more, more powerful. And um, we have between five and six olfactory sensors in, in our noses, which is uh, five to six million olfactory sensors, which sort of sounds like a heck of a lot. The reality is that rabbits have 100 million and dogs have 600 million. So it's <laughs> fascinating to know what it smells like in a dog's world. Quite frightening, actually. I think I'd rather be a human, to be honest. Um, and we can pick up thousands and thousands and detect thousands and thousands of different smells and odours um, uh, very, very effectively. So how does that actually work? Well, um, oh, actually, the other thing I was going to talk about is nothing to do with aromatherapy, but something else I did find out was a sense of taste. Our taste, uh, our sense of taste is driven by our sense of smell more than our, other than our taste buds. In fact, our taste buds are only do uh, detect things like um, sweet and sour, um, bitter and salt. Every other form of taste is driven through our olfactory senses in, in our nose. So it's an amazingly powerful thing, our sense of smell. So how does it actually work? Well, there is science behind this. There is a reason why uh, the sense of smell and odours could affect us so fundamentally, because it has a direct link into our brains. What happens is that um, molecules, odor molecules in the air, get taken up in up through our nose and reach uh, olfact olfactory neurons in our nose, which are just underneath our layer of mucus. Those neurons then pass on messages to what's called our olfactory lobe, which is right at the back of our nose, and that is directly linked also to our, a thing called our limbic system in our brain. So messages are sent to our limbic system, and our limbic system is incredibly powerful because it can do a number of things. It triggers all kinds of responses within our bodies. So it uh, affects our behaviour, our motivations, our emotions, and even physiological things can be driven by our limbic system. So using oils and the aroma from oils has a fundamental effect on the way our brain works <clears throat> and consequently how we feel emotionally and how we react physically as well. So aromatherapy is uh, an amazingly powerful thing. So the other way I mentioned about using oils is uh, through topical use. So topical use is when you apply it directly to the skin. Now, you can do that in a number of different ways with uh, emotional oils. You can uh, apply them um, to your pulse points, uh, on your heart is a very popular place, or to the soles of your feet. So uh, you can apply them in other areas as well. Soles of your feet is an interesting one, and, and I often talk about this because I do find it fascinating. The reason why you might apply the oils to the soles of your feet is because... Uh, the skin composition on the soles of your feet is different from anywhere else on your body and it helps you absorb the oils into your system really, really quickly. In fact, within two minutes, oils have been absorbed through the soles of your feet and they've travelled twice around your circulatory system and within 20 minutes, the oils have reached and penetrated every single cell in your body. So, you know, that's, that's incredible. That's incredibly quick and incredibly powerful. So, two key ways that you can use uh, oils for uh, regulating your emotions and, and promoting positive emotions. The, I suppose the big question is, if you're going to use oils for emotional benefits, then 
which laws are you going to use? Well, it's not that easy because it, in fact, is very complex. Because um, oils can be categorised uh, in a number of different ways, including the chemistry within the oils and also the effects that the oils can have. Uh, but uh, there are lots and lots and lots of different oils and the chemistry is very, really complex. So it can be incredibly difficult to work out which oils or which combination of oils are best for using in certain circumstances for different emotions. Um, but the good news is that doTERRA have made life easy for us and they have put together some wonderful blends. They've created some blends really carefully that address a number of different emotional issues and can be used very, very effectively. Um, so to talk through those blends, I'm going to hand over to Jan and she's going to go through some of the key blends that can help you with um, emotions and promoting positive emotions. Okay, so welcome in. Come in, uh, come in Jan. <laughs> come and sit down. Thank you, Richie. Um, if you're wondering uh, why you're watching this, I just sneaked into the office just to check things out on the laptop, check if things was working okay. I kept seeing some spooky apparition behind. So before you actually leave the room, Richard, the spooky apparition is Coco. So <laughs> Coco is one of our rescued cats who um, is one of those cats that shouldn't live in the house because she's supposed to be a farm cat. Um, but does like to live in the house, so excuse me for that. So, uh, yeah, hopefully no more spookiness going on behind. <laughs> I know, at least it wasn't an emu or a chicken, because that's probably even spookier if you see one of them. Yeah, she's in. And she's coming. Brilliant. Fantastic. Okay, I'm going to talk through, um, I'm going to talk through kind of eight key emotional laws, and I'm also going to give you a bit of a tip at the end um, about warding off um, emotions and things like that as well. So... First oil I'm going to talk through, and I'm just going to actually pick up each oil because I think it's quite nice to, um, and I do appreciate that when you're on live, everything will come back to front. So the first oil I'm going to talk through is console. And I'm going to give you, first of all, a couple of key ingredients of console. So console is a comforting blend. And some of the key ingredients of console are frank, patchouli, ylang alang, sandalwood, and rose. So just even as I tell you, oh, those oils, I just, immediately I'm just going to have to have a little sniff and I know a couple of you are actually hosting um, essential oil classes and experiences tonight and I know some of you are watching this live so hopefully you've got some of these oils as you're talking to people. So what does comfort do? Well comfort's about giving hope, it's to help you ward off grief so if you're grieving and grieving, people always think grieving is purely about the loss of somebody which of course is you know absolutely what grieving is but sometimes we can grieve for things that are just very important to us. Even sometimes um, I grieve as each year passes because I grieve the loss of another year and the fact I'm a year older. So, but, you know, on a serious note, grieving can come in many different forms. So it is not just an oil for bereavement. It's for any type of grieving you're feeling. And also sadness. The console is really good at um, just lifting you up and giving you, I, I like to call console a comforting, warm hug. One of the best ways to use this um, is diffusing, obviously. So diffusing, if you're going to be sitting somewhere for a while, is wonderful. And we've got a diffuser on the go behind here. And that's one of our favourites because it, it goes different colours. But probably one of our most popular um, diffusers is the, the doTERRA Petal Diffuser. And it's great because you can set these to go however many hours you wish. Diffusing is really good, but also when you apply a drop into the hands, and always give an oil a bit of a rub just to kind of release the smells and just deep inhaling really starts to work on all those scientific and biological things that Richard said about and another great place is and I don't know if Richard mentioned he probably did was pulse points and things but also on you know if you've got a collar or a scarf on and just taking deep breaths I know some people like to put this in a hanky or a tissue as well so that they can kind of keep breathing it breathing in so that's console the next oil I'm going to cover is peace, and this is my personal favourite. So I do love a little bit of peace. In fact, I like a lot of peace in my life. And um, peace is obviously the name of the blend that doTERRA have given it. So the generic name for this is Reassuring Blend. And this has got... Mm. So we have vetiver, ylang ylang, lavender, frankincense, which is just does so many wonderful things, marjoram, which again is a really calming oil, and spearmint. And the wonderful thing with peace is, as it, as it kind of is, um, reassures and relaxes you, it also has a slight bit of feeling of an uplifting as well. So it's a really good sort of 
oil to uplift you. So peace is to counteract anxiety, fear. Um, it's one of the go-to oils for people that have panic attacks. So it's a really good oil to carry around, especially if you're someone that gets anxious, whether it's because you're in public, you've gone out somewhere. Things that you know will make you anxious, carry your peace with you and either inhale from the bottle, put on your hands. Um, and this is also a really good one for children. A lot of people would use this um, on the soles of feet for children because it will aid with sleep as well. So it's a really good one for calming down. Um, it's kind of main properties also, yeah, I'm just kind of looking at some of my notes to remind me, is if you fret, fretting and giving you reassurance. So peace is a very calming, it's a very reassuring blend, and it's a very good for anxiety and people that worry about things as well, especially if you're one of those people that starts to do your worrying when you go to bed at night as well, so that will really help you. Diffusing that by the bed is really quite wonderful as well, so that's peace. And the next oil I'm going to go to is Forgive. And Forgive contains bergamot, juniper berry, myrrh, arborvitae and thyme. So that's some of the key ingredients running through there. This is a wonderful one to diffuse, but a really good one for pulse points as well. And in fact, I should have said a piece as well, just over our heart is a really wonderful place to put emotional oils. It will really get in inside of you and to start to do what it needs to do. So why do we need Forgive? Well, we are all going to suffer from different times of feelings of anger and resentment. Um, impatience is another one. It really will help you be more patient. So if you're somebody that gets quite uptight and, I suppose, anxious with that, but if you get irritable, forgive is a really good one for that. Um, it's really good for meditation. So those of you that like to meditate or if you do yoga, it's a really nice one to diffuse when you're doing yoga. And so it's a really good one again. All of these are just... Um, wonderful absolutely wonderful to just place literally a drop in your hand really release that smell and just deeply inhale because it's really nice sometimes forgive is really good for if you get really annoyed with yourself as well if you I don't, my classic time I use this is when I make stupid mistakes and I get so annoyed with myself and I'm really frustrated and I find forgive is a really good one for that because I start to get irritable and then I can't move on from it and then I'm going to make more mistakes so it's really good in those situations so if you're kind of one of these people that's not very good at forgiving yourself forgive is really good for that as well so it's not about forgiving other people it's a lot more about how you feel about things so say and sometimes just things that you might resent is a really cool one to use our next one is motivate and Motivate contains peppermint, coriander, basil, citrus, melissa, oh, melissa's a beautiful oil, and rosemary. And this one will promote confidence, courage, and belief. Um, if you need to believe in something, if it's something that you're really keen to, to deal with and you need to believe in it, and a lot of it about, um, sometimes people will use Motivate if it's before um, sports. That's a really classic one if you're a sports fanatic, um, especially if you're playing team sports and you want to be on the winning team. Using Motivate before you um, go into any kind of activity like that will really give you that power of belief in yourself that you can do it. Uh, a lot of people use it before sitting an exam or a test or something like that. It's a really cool one as well. Um, people use it. Um, we love to diffuse Motivate in the afternoon. It's a really good one for lifting you up in the afternoon when you get like tiredness, etc. Um, Really good one, I say, to diffuse just while you're working in general. And also when you're studying, especially if you're studying something that's a bit boring. So I think motivation, I think we all need it at different times anyway. So that's motivate. And then I'm going to go into, oh, I love this one as well. Mm. Oh, cheer. Cheer is um, wild orange, clove, lemon, ginger and cinnamon. This is a lovely one to diffuse in the car. And if you've never heard our tips before, if you don't have a little in-car diffuser, a cotton wool ball, a couple of drops, push it into the air vent, not all the way in. And as you blow the air through, that will actually invigorate and fill the car with happiness and cheerfulness. So that is um, it's a really uplifting oil. Um, another great thing with the car is um, you can just put it on a wooden peg. You can also, um, I mean, I don't know if you're into diffuser jewellery, but a lot of people buy sort of like necklaces and bracelets where they have like a little bit of um, padding inside and you add the drops of the essential oil that you think you're going to need throughout the day. 
Um, again, on your clothing is really good to sort of put on your clothes, almost wear it like your perfume, and again on your pulse points, across your heart, back of the neck's really nice, soles of the feet and diffusing. But this will really counteract negative emotions. So cheer is if you are feeling, instead of believing everything's half full, if you're more feeling everything's half empty, um, that's a kind of negative feeling. And a negative feeling can start to suppress and make you feel down as well. So it's a really good one to uplift how you feel. It, again, really evokes uh, positive feelings. Um, makes you a lot more optimistic. It's a very happy oil. And I think everybody needs a bit of happiness in their life. Even if you think you're normally cheerful, that's a really cool one to use for that. And these oils I'm going through are part of the Emotional Aromatherapy System. And I'll show you a bit more about that in a second. And the last one in the group of six oils is Passion. Mm. Passion contains jasmine, sandalwood, cinnamon, ginger, clove and cardamom. And this is a real... Oh, a diffusing pulse points over the heart again, and oh, my, this I, I wish we had smell a vision. This has to be, in fact, a probably peace and then passion is the order of my favourite two with these two. Passion doesn't have to mean, mean about after night, um, late night activities. Passion is about when you've lost that desire to. Get up and go. It could be you've lost your desire to get up each day to go to the same job you always do. Maybe something you've always really cared about, and whether it's due to stress or or maybe it's just your time to move on. But if you need to reignite your passion um, for something you really care about, of course it's uh, great to have around you when you really want to love somebody. Um, it really does also take away, and um, people suffer with boredom, and this kind of takes away that feeling of boredom as well. So that's a really beautiful oil, and I say, got some wonderful ingredients in there. And I know as Richard was probably explained to you how that a lot of physical conditions we have actually can lead to emotional feelings and vice versa. So when we have a physical condition, we can become very emotional. But also if we are highly emotional due to different circumstances going around us, it can actually start to cause us physical problems. And some of these examples of that are if we get nervous, um, we're likely to get funny pains in our tummy. And for some people, that can be a real strong pain. But that pain is purely caused by an emotion, which then in turn has a physical reaction. Um, when we're grieving, when we're hurting, uh, the pain in our chest and that feeling of, I can't breathe, that's an emotional response and causes, a, it's an emotional response to your, your grieving, but actually starts with, can create physical pain. So I think it's really key to understand that. So where doTERRA got very clever is Richard said, it can be really hard to choose which oils are right for you. Well, this is called the Emotional Aromatherapy System, and it is to make sure that you've got what you need when you need it. And what I love about this, and I'll put some pictures up on the group, but it shows you the wheel, and the wheel is showing you where all the different, so everything from the sort of, you know, the different oils and where they come from, whether they're mints, whether they're citrus, whether they're trees, where they sit in the wheel of emotion and how the different oils in each section are blended together to help create and support that emotion you're feeling to actually counteract that feeling and lift you up and obviously make you feel a lot better. So it's a really cool system. If you um, have a wholesale account with doTERRA, then this is absolutely fantastic. You can get this just like it is on its own or it even comes as a wonderful enrolment, enrolment kit, which even if you have an account, you can still get an enrolment kit, which means you would actually get all of the oils with the petal diffuser, which means you get to use them both the ways. So that's a really cool way of, of getting sort of your oils into your home and in your life. And all of the oils we've gone through are just as safe for children and also for pets. So again, those of you that have watched our sort of dog um, live, and also I think we've, we did one on horses as well, Sometimes for us it's been a lot easier just to go to the oil that we know, our, you know, pets grieve, pets grieve for another pet, a, a change of, I mean gosh, I remember when my daughters left home that it was also the sadness we felt as, as you know, they grow up and life moves on, but also watching the dogs, I mean, it was, it was like everybody was grieving. So I just think, you know, different times, different emotions, you can support your pets, even if you want to just support them through the diffuser, and it's a really cool thing to do as well. And then I wanted to go through two keels that have been around for a very long time with doTERRA and probably one of their, what, their first couple of um, emotionals they introduced. And this for me is, was, and still is, a, a personal favourite. And this is called Balance. And I'm just going to go through a couple of key ingredients. You've got frankincense, spruce, rosewood, blue tansy and chamomile, Roman chamomile, which again is a very calming oil. 
balance, I absolutely recommend for anybody that is constantly on an emotional wheel. Um, it's great to go to a keyhole at certain times, but balance is about constantly centering you and just getting you back into the right place you need to be. I call it, and it's probably an old fashioned term, out of sorts. Um, I think it's about my mum and my granny to whistle, she's a bit out of sorts. It gets you back into your sorts. Um, when I first was introduced to doTERRA um, over 18 months ago, um, I'd been suffering with anxiety for probably six to eight months. And I'll be really honest with you, you know, maybe I've been very lucky in life and very blessed, but when people used to tell me what anxiety was and, you know, like, it's easy to be supportive and say the right words to people, but you don't feel it. And until I actually experienced it myself, and in fact, I actually did think I was physically ill because the pains in my chest, I couldn't believe were caused by emotions. And um, I was very, very lucky when I was first in the business that um, one of the ladies in America, I was talking to her about my confidence wasn't high. Um, I wasn't sleeping well. And the best way I can describe it is when I used to, I used to get into bed at night, I would feel all the day's thoughts and feelings seemed to come rushing back into my head and didn't matter what I did to try and knock that out of my head because I, I already started to get anxious knowing that if I went to sleep thinking about those things, those things were going to appear in my dreams and that meant it wasn't going to be a nice sleep either. And um, she introduced me to balance and serenity and balance, she advised me to use on the soles of my feet two or three times a day. And I can honestly say within probably three weeks maximum, the combination of balance throughout the day and serenity at night and balance at night, I found what it was like to sleep peacefully again. It didn't even matter when I went to bed and I thought, no, it's not going to work tonight. My head's whirring, everything's buzzing. And, you know, we were going through a lot of emotional, um, personal things with my mum and I couldn't get it out of my head. But the minute I laid down, my diffuser was on, the balance was on my feet. It was in my diffuser with serenity. The minute I closed my eyes, I went to sleep and I didn't dream and I didn't wake up fretful and that pain, that feeling of something hitting my chest when I laid down had completely stopped and that was just three weeks of use. Um, I've worked with many, many people um, since joining doTERRA and many, many years ago in my past when I trained as a counsellor, so I kind of, I understand what it's like to be overcome with emotions, but um, many people that we've worked with since doing doTERRA We've introduced a lot of ladies and gentlemen that have had long-term feelings of being out of sorts and depression. And balance has been, for every single one of them, the oil that's completely turned things around. And I think for 95% of the people that we know and we've supported or they've gone on their own journey with doTERRA, I know all those people are no longer taking medication. So balance has been a really, really key oil. And please don't think that you have to be suffering from depression to use balance. I can honestly say that just the speed of life now with everything in technology, I think everybody gets out of sorts. I just think it's a really cool oil for anybody to be using. There's one thing about oils that is the most amazing thing because they're natural, because they're pure, and because these are the highest quality oils that doTERRA produce, is you can't overdo it. You're not gonna use too much and have the opposite effect. It's not like medication, it's, it will work with your body and what your body doesn't need, it will just expel naturally, just how we get rid of waste normally. It doesn't it doesn't um, collect up in your body. So if you're new to oils, it's just very important to know that you can't overdose on them. And absolutely, this is a wonderful, wonderful oil. Um, we use this with our, our pets as well, two dogs that have um, got anxiety. We've used it very recently with an emu, um, which I was amazed at, with Balance and Lavender. Um, and we know a lot of people use it with children and also kids, kids that are suffering with, whether it's they're going into their teens, whether they're in their terrible twos, whether it's um, they're not having restful nights, whether it's they have concentration issues, balance is a really good one to introduce them. So that is probably a very, very strong go-to oil that you can use with any other emotional oils and anything else you're doing as well, but a real key one to add in. Um, SADS is another one, very good for SADS. So a lot of people that as we get into this time of year, I really don't like losing the sunlight. I love the different seasons, but for a, it's not for everybody, is it? And then the other oil I wanted to show you, and I know we've shared this before, and that's Serenity. And Serenity contains lavender, marjoram, chamomile, ylang-ylang, and sandalwood, and it's a calming blend. Now, <laughs> I think we're so groomed with modern medication that when we tell people, well, we use this, we have a brilliant night's sleep, Serenity, I mean, I have not had a night that I've not diffused serenity since I've owned one. It is the best for a peaceful, calming sleep. 
but it doesn't knock you out. It it works with you. I, the best way I can just describe it, when your body is laying down and your eyes closed, that's when serenity knows it's going to do its job. And it will. you will just wake up normally, four, five, six hours later, whatever time you need to wake up. But you can also use this throughout the day. You are not going to suddenly fall asleep. Um, and I know I've tried that. So if we've got anxious situations going on at home, it's, you know, and, that, and by that I mean it can be anything. It could just be life is a really busy day and we're juggling work and phone calls and social media and deliveries are coming and we've got three different appointments and I'm like, whoa, that, <laughs> I can diffuse that with balance and cheer. And it will give me all the things that my, my head and my body is going through at that one moment. And obviously poor Richard, who is is so calm, um, I know that our emotions can go back and forth onto other people. And something, um, and I know many of you may have been lucky enough to have it, we have a thing called an Itovi scanner. And it's a lovely little gadget. And I know we're down in near Brighton tomorrow night doing a class with Debbie Miller. And we're going to be doing some Itovi scans there. And you literally just hold it and it reads your biomarkers. And it's very interesting when you scan people, it'll bring up where they're at and what else they need to be supported with. But also sometimes when you scan people that are very close, whether it's very close friends or they're a couple or it's, it, they're, they're related, sometimes the same oils will come up emotionally for the two people. And that is because the person that cares for the person that's going through lots of different emotions, actually those emo you start to take them in. Um, again, I want to try and describe it in a really simple way. Of, um, well, but if you know somebody is very sad and you comfort them, you start to become overwhelmed with sadness yourself. Even if whatever they're sad about may not be something that you would normally feel sad about, you start to have that same emotion because they have it. So that's what I mean kind of when I say emotions can transfer. It's really easy to see in children and animals because they can't be influenced by the things. So you will see that very much, you know, especially um, twins are a classic, you know, they always say that twins know what the other one is and what the other one's feeling. That is it, their bond is so close, the emotions will transfer across. So serenity for sleep, but also for calming and relaxing, a great unwinder at the end of the day, and really getting really good support with children. But this takes me on the final O, and I think especially if you're a person that is um, that go-to person that everybody wants to tell their problems to, um, I can relate more to women. I'm sure there's many men that have that as well. But I think women are the, the more naturally nurturing side of women. We do attract that. And some of us more than others. And something I was finding, especially when we were going out um, and doing classes and events, and when you're sort of talking to people about the oils they want and they start to discuss their emotions and then you're sort of looking at the emotional oils, you, you're naturally becoming, you're empathising with them, you're trying to understand how they're feeling. And then you suddenly realise that by an end of an evening and a session that you're kind of feeling quite overwhelmed yourself and actually you're feeling quite emotional. Um, one of the ways I can describe it is, I don't know if you know the expression, um, don't carry monkey, you know, don't sort of carry other people's monkeys on your shoulders. It's like when you listen to everybody else's problems, you kind of think, oh, I've helped them and I've sorted this and I've done that. And you go that way and then you think, oh, everything feels really heavy. And that is because you have taken that all on. You've you've not just listened, you've allowed the emotions to start coming on to you. So I only learned about this recently, and oh my gosh, it couldn't have been my least favourite. Oh, Melaleuca. Now, Melaleuca is an antibacterial, antiviral. It fights off all sorts of infections. It's great for cleaning and germs and oh, skin conditions. But Melaleuca's also got a little secret trick to it, that Melaleuca, when you apply this before you go into that situation of supporting somebody else, will actually help you not take on their feelings and emotions. You'll still be able to be supportive. Um, I was trialling this with three people about three or four weeks ago when I was first learning about this, um, that were dealing with, um, two of them with children with ADHD, and that feeling of the frustration as they were trying to calm down a really anxious, um, and a, you know, sort of anxious child. And another person that was dealing with a, a very dear friend that was going through a lot of things emotionally with a, a, a really emotional breakup. And she just was feeling she was losing her strength. And so I gave them also Melaleuca. The places you need to apply Melaleuca <clears throat> is literally, I can't even lift my sleeves up, on the inside, ah, I want to twist my arm, on the insides of your elbows. You need to apply both sides. You need to apply down and over your heart, so all down here, 
and a little bit at the back of your neck. Now you either love or hate Melaleuca, it's most people would know it's tea tree, but I can absolutely promise you it works. And so I say now when we're eye tovey scanning and especially when lots of emotional things come up, I can actually feel at the end of it, I still feel bright, I still feel uplifted, I feel I've done a great job supporting them and talking through the oils they need, but what I haven't done is when I'm leaving the venue, feeling like, oh my gosh, oh that was so sad, oh my, just all those emotions. Um, and an easy way to use Melaleuca is we do a rollerball called Melaleuca Touch, which literally is, and that is so easy for me to just literally carry around. And and I'll be honest with you, I like to use your overlay another roll on it only because to me, I don't like the smell of Melaleuca. But one thing I can guarantee, if you are going through trying to support a child, a relative, a good friend, and there's a lot of emotions going on, if you don't want to start to wonder why you're feeling down and why you're feeling affected, then that's the trick, use your Melaleuca. So there's only one thing to share with you here at the end, and I think we've had a bit of a, a whirlwind tour here again. We always have whirlwind tours, and I'm now looking for something. Oh, there it is. Um, I, oh gosh, I've had this for a while. We, doTERRA produced, um, they have got an app, and it's called The Daily Drop. So I'm going to just bring that up to the screen, and I know it's going to be back to front. If you download this app, which is totally free, it will, um, every day it will upload different videos about different things. And, you know, it is an American company. So, you know, hey, great American. And I love Americans, so I love the American accents. I know it's not for everyone. But one of the things in the daily drop, when you go down into the menu, there's a thing called determine your mood. This, I wish I'd really looked at this before. And I know it's coming up back to front. You tick how you're feeling this day. So today I might be between one and five, be feeling a bit gloomy. Um, I'm going to say I feel a little bit confused today. Actually, I feel confused most days. A little bit tense. Um, oh, yeah, I'm a bit angry today. And um, I'm sad. And you literally mark how you're feeling. And at the bottom, show results. And it will actually tell you which emotionals are right for you on that day. That has got to be, with modern technology, one of the coolest things I've ever seen. So you know how you're feeling. Um, and that will help you to counteract those feelings and hopefully have a much better day. So that's the Daily App by doTERRA. It's totally free. Um, and I'm just trying to think what else is in here. Questions and answers. I, how do I get the video to? Oh, it's all about how to use the app. But I will just show you on my screen. It looks like it's. It just literally. If you go into apps and go DoTerra, and it will bring up any of the DoTerra apps, and just make sure it's the one called the Daily Drop, and it's totally free to download. And hopefully that will give you a lot of emotional support. And there's some really key videos there as well. Um, there's about probably 25, 30 different videos for athletes and supporting children, different things like that. And as you watch your video, I'll let you the following day download, well not download, but have access. So I think you've got to watch each day if you want to have more videos, but a really cool app. So I hope that's been helpful. So I have no idea if we have any questions because um, yes, part of console for me is getting over the aging process. It means if I put my glasses on while I'm talking to you, A, they reflect, and B, um, I can't see normally with my glasses on. I only can sit, use them for reading. And if I go up there and squint right close to there to read, I'm going to scare everybody because I'm going to have my big face right in your face, which isn't very nice. But um, I hope that's been helpful. Um, what we'd love to know is what else you'd like us to do live. We're starting to get more you know, out of our comfort zone, which um, we were definitely not comfortable doing lives. But we're getting there, and we really hope this has been helpful. Obviously, huge thank you to my wonderful partner, Richard, who's now probably still in the office watching this on live. Um, but if there's anything you'd like us to do on a live, because I think it's so much easier to talk and, I don't know, just writing things and pictures just doesn't do it, does it? So if we could do a live over any subjects you'd like us to cover, if we've got the knowledge, absolutely we'll do it. And if we haven't, then we'll go and do some research. We, we love learning. But I hope you've enjoyed this. And if you do need to get oils, if you're not a wellness advocate or don't have a wholesale account, ping me a message and I'll make sure you're connected to whoever's added you to the group. But we'll also make sure you know people are connected to the right people. And the great thing about having a wholesale account, 25% discount. Lots of freebies. So I hope you've had a wonderful time. Hope you've enjoyed. Hope you've learned. And thank you for participating. 
looks like loads has been going on in the chat bar, but we really appreciate your support and just hope you've enjoyed it. So have a wonderful, light, emotional evening. Bye-bye, everyone.